Thank you, Miriam. Thank you so much. You know, um, I'm sure everybody had speeches and I didn't have one. So I think, thankfully, this will be short. <laughs> but you know, I, as you heard, um, we have such an amazing opportunity for California to lead the nation. I got a little concerned as I was listening to um, what we do here as the largest import or export of nuts and bananas. <laughs> so maybe that's what they think of us at the rest of the country. <laughs> so. <laughs> But, you know, as I shared with you um, in the video and when they did the interview, my wife and I, Michelle, have had the most amazing privilege to be Im immigrants to this country. We came from South Africa with literally um, living under the world of apartheid. So I can actually sit in the shoes and have empathy for those that are discriminated against and those of the underserved and the poor. And we've devoted really our attention that we in California can lead. And I think, um, as you heard from all the speakers today, there's no question that California is what I call the window to the future. We are the window to the future. I think you've heard the amazing things we actually generate and create in this uh, state. So we have an obligation not only to lead, but to really inspire. And there's no other country greater than this country. I could not have achieved uh, what we did and uh, in terms of healthcare, in terms of what I'm doing now in energy and what I'm doing hopefully with the LA Times uh, without something as magnificent as, as America. So I'm grateful for this country. I'm grateful for Los Angeles. It is the best city in the world. I was in uh, New York yesterday, just missed Chicago today. Uh, and I think uh, it is uh, so clear that we're living in this amazing place. So I, we're going to continue to pursue what we're doing in healthcare, and I'll just share with you a little bit that we are trying in healthcare to actually create a chemotherapy-free uh, cancer uh, therapy. I'm pleased. <laughs> I'm pleased to share with you that we have uh, now completed the first 34 patients. I presented this in Washington in triple negative breast cancer, metastatic pancreatic cancer, lung cancer, head and neck cancer. And two of our patients with triple negative breast cancer have, are now in complete remission. So, in um, the area of hydrocarbons, I think, as you begin to see, I think some of you may have read today that there's this literally big hole that's been created in this large glacier. So climate change is a real, real existential threat to all of us. Um, we have now devoted a huge uh, uh, part of our, not only energy and resources and intellect to the concept of reducing hydrocarbons. So very quietly, our team and the organization I've been working with in Arizona has built uh, the world's first zinc air battery and I'm pleased to share with you that for the last six years we've deployed this. We have now 100 villages completely off the grid. Uh, we have 200,000 people that had no electricity, now have electricity. We've, we, we've taken away a million lead acid batteries and 40,000 liters of diesel. I think that's but the beginning and the beginning of now changing solar and wind and storage and that combination, Los Angeles and California will lead the nation, it will lead the world, and I'm so proud to be part of that. And finally, I want to acknowledge the Los Angeles Times team sitting there. <laughs> I, I went up to the table in a panic and I said, everybody has a speech, I need my editorial board, and they're sitting right there. But I, I gotta tell you, it's been probably one of the most satisfying and fulfilling things for my wife and I uh, to be part and privilege of um, having, being part of saving, I truly mean saving this paper, this national important icon of a paper. Um, and, and bringing it to local ownership. Um, 
I think we truly will need your help. There's no question um, that if we hadn't stepped in, uh, the number of journalists who are truly the salt of the earth and really we need them so importantly for democracy. We're going to do really, and we were just looking at the numbers today, could have been 300. We now have 500, over 500 uh, in the organization. So I did promise you a short speech. I'll end it right there and I want to really thank you all uh, for this and the, what a great honor and what a privilege for me to be a Los Angelino. Thank you all. Thank you.